living. Take pictures. Hello, how are you? See what happens? Hello, everyone. I'm Sheldon Barlow Rumor, and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. I always say to everybody, we have more fun off camera sometimes than we do on camera. I was talking, yickety yacking, and I got caught. That's what I get. But I get caught with all of my good friends. I get to meet some amazing people, and they get to cook some wonderful things for me. I'm going to introduce you to two of my new friends. We're going to start off with this beautiful young woman. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What is your first and last name? My name is Rachel Gallo. Hello, Rachel. And your name, sir? Andrew Petrozelli. All right, where are you from? Uh, Front Street Cafe. Front Street Cafe. And so we are super excited that they are going to teach me. You know how I am. I'm always confused, especially in the kitchen. So they're going to teach me some of their wonderful things that they make at the restaurant. They brought it here to PJP, right? Yes, yes, wonderful. Here we are. Okay, so what are we going to make today? So it's going to be a little bit of a playoff of a dish that we already do. Okay. Um, I have a, it's a crab and avocado dish. Oh, I love it. We just want to show you how to like plate restaurant style oh, quality food. I love that. Show you how easy it actually is. So. It's easy, see? It's easy. No pressure, no pressure. <laughs> I say we loosely. They're gonna do all of the work, you know, they're gonna do all the work and I'm gonna watch. I think that that's a pretty fair trait, don't you think so, people? Okay, how do we start? All right, so um, what we're gonna start with, yeah. so in place of the crab, we're gonna use jackfruit. Oh, that's um, fun. Jackfruit's very popular with, um, a lot of our restaurant's kind of based off yeah. of very dietary kind of restrictions. Uh, we yeah. have a lot of plant-based foods. Oh, um, okay. In fact, our menu is kind of opposite of a lot of restaurants where instead of denoting like things that are vegan, we have um, <laughs> anything that has an animal protein and it has a little icon next to it instead. I love, that okay. That way people with specific, you know, like uh, vegan or plant-based diets can just yeah. come in and eat what they want. And eat what they want. Have an easier time navigating the menu. So. Oh, I love that. I love so. that. I think that's wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. And that's so great. And I have never used this from before ever in my life. Yeah, it's uh, it's wow. pretty versatile. Yeah. Um, no, this is young jackfruit. Um, okay. And it's already been boiled, actually, for this specific thing we're yeah. using canned. Okay. So, so you can enough. get it canned in water, canned in brine. Brine's a little more salty, so okay. I tend to like the water. Okay, fair enough. Um, but you can also do it yourself. If you just break it down, you can actually um, kind of cut it into similar chunks like this and okay. boil the whole thing. Wow. And then the, uh, the skin will peel right off. Oh, I love so that. So we're just going to like smush it up with our hands oh, a little bit. Because as you boiled it, you're now able to kind of work it. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I you want that. it to be able to pull kind of pull apart. Now a lot of people um, have heard of like jack barbecue jackfruit. Yeah. So it kind of um, kind of shares a consistency kind of, cool. of uh, like pulled pork almost. Oh. So if you look at it. How cool so, is that? Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh my gosh. Kaylin from our team is like, yes, yes. I, yeah. I, I completely agree. <laughs> She's apparently an authority in the okay. in the matter. Excellent. This is what I think is so wonderful. <laughs> no, but I think it's really great. And again, what we want to do is we want to bring some new things to light. Some yeah, things that yeah. are, people are doing that are not only you know, on trend, but at the same time, good for you, which I right. think is really, really important. Yeah, absolutely. There's even a little bit of protein in this, so yeah. it's, uh, you know, it's a good substitute for uh, people that don't eat meat. You know? Right, exactly, exactly. And it seems quite hearty, like, as opposed Definitely. to something that's light or something that's just completely um, vegetable-based. It seems like it's like a, yeah. it's a hearty type it's of thing. Nice it's a lot like pulled pork. <laughs> pulled pork, yeah. That I also make so a, a tuna fish sandwich with this. Stop. So it I've, does resemble tuna. Yeah. So I've got that is so a, fun. I love that. Okay, one wonderful. Of the, one of the ways we can kind of substitute seafood flavor is okay. to actually use nori, okay. um, which is seaweed. So it kind of looks like this, the nori paper. Um, oh you just kind of rip it into pieces and then drop it in your blender. Oh my gosh. Just kind of pulse it in a blender. Yeah. And it ends up looking, you know, kind of like that. Yeah, I love so, that. Oops, oops, it's very light and it's fluffy. Like red, red, red. Exactly. It's a party, people. It is a party. I so love that. Put a little bit in there, and then there's our little bit of seafood flavor. And it's flavor. pretty. So, oh, that's wonderful. Of course, I made a big mess. No, here. please, don't you. I know. The true chef in him is cleaning as he's going. He's like, this is not okay. Right, no, but this is wonderful. We're so excited to have you guys, for sure. Yeah. For food. Go ahead. Yep. I'm uh, making sweet potato chips. They're going to be the garnish for our dish. Sweet mm -hmm. potato chips. Yep. Love something that. Something healthy needs something bad. Uh, right, yeah, exactly. Just a little cheese. Just a little texture. And okay, you know. so, so what are you doing with those sweet potato chips? Uh, we're just going to fry them a little bit of canola oil. Okay. And then we're going to toss them in a little bit of kosher salt. Okay, so they're going to fry them. Canola oil is what you said, mm -hmm. right? And then kosher salt? Yep. Love that. So nice good. And so simple. Yeah. This is a Cheldon type thing. I'm going to go <laughs> hang out with Rachel. She and I are going to handle this. This is what we're going to do. I don't know what's going on over here with the seaweed, but we're, I can handle this over here. I can handle this over here. But it looks great. And again, providing them with a nice offering. Yeah. You, I cheated a little. I saw what the finished product is going to look like, and it looks amazing. Nothing is like taking nothing and creating something into something beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think that they're so wonderful. So again, the inspiration behind this is a, a play on something that you already exist. Yeah. That already yeah, yeah. exists mm -hmm. on your menu yep. and replacing mm -hmm. the crab meat 
with the dragon fruit. Yeah, right? and it's a lot of what we do. The food, um, a lot of the food that we have at Front Street is kind of uh, comfort food, yeah. but it's got like a healthier twist on it. So oh, whether it be that. completely um, plant-based or whatever, yeah. like uh, we have like a fried mozz that we make that's Ooh. vegan fried mozzarella. The crusting actually is um, gluten-free as well. We make our Marcona almonds and uh, Rice Krispies wow. as the crispy. Stop. The crispy outer shell. For I it, love so. that. And so this allows for you truly to be, I mean, creativity is a thing. Absolutely. And, I mean, it's you fun must to recreate be, dishes. Right, yeah. You have to kind of right. really brainstorm about what the alternative, not only in the flavor, but the textures. Right. right, right. Which is yeah. kind of great. And then being able, and for that example, especially for the fried mozz, is coming up with, okay, what is going to give you the texture of that fried mozzarella, but then at the same time, be able to adhere to the restrictions that you're trying to, to Yeah, grab. yeah, yeah. I mean, a awesome. lot of people are familiar with, like, cashew, yeah. queso, and cheese and we kind of take a basic recipe and add some tapioca starch which gives it a little elasticity so it's kind of oh, like mozzarella. Like that. Yeah. So you so. are my mad scientist. Is that <laughs> correct? It's in the kitchen. Yep, you are yep, a mad yep. scientist for sure. Okay so um, where are we in the so, process? All right, so so far I've got um, this is the equivalent of four cans of jackfruit wow. um, or two like one pound cans of crab meat if you want to do the crab meat. Okay. Obviously you can mix the, um, the seaweed if you <laughs> okay. already have crab meat. All right. But um, uh, then I have about a half of a, a bunch of cilantro. Okay. And that's been cleaned and washed. Okay. Got to get all that sand out of there Please so there's no make, grit. Make sure. Um, and then that's just been roughly chopped and thrown in here. Okay. I've already pre-cut up uh, about a half of a large red onion. Okay. So it's about a medium dice there. And then same with um, one pepper. Okay. Uh, red pepper. Add okay. some texture. Add some flavor. I love that. Um, now. Um, <laughs> with a lot of plant-based cooking, we yeah. use, um, if you find some nice ripe avocados, yes. and that kind of becomes your sauce. So Ooh. instead of like using mayonnaise or, uh, uh -huh. you know, anything else, this, so this is adhere everything good, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can just... Uh, Love that. Squish it all together. <laughs> now, I, I might be putting you on the spot, but I just bought avocados. I made a okay. guacamole. I mean, don't judge me. I made a guacamole of my own. Yes, you're welcome. And <laughs> I was in one of those things where I was thinking, and then the other one I didn't hadn't used for a couple days, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is overripe or not ripe enough. So, it, do you have a method to the madness on how ripe an avocado should be? How you know to be able to find a ripe avocado? Could you help? Yeah, me? I mean, so let's this is see a selfish, here. selfish. Well, <laughs> why don't you find me the, the? We want to keep one firm one, uh, so I can have some chunks. Me. So you I find can't. us whichever one you think is the fir most firm. Okay. Now these are all actually pretty perfect. Yeah, I think um, that this one might be the most firm. So perfect. So we'll save that one up. for last. Okay. So we can have a little bit of chunk in there too. Okay, fair enough. So I'm just gonna throw no a couple pressure. of these in here. Okay, fair enough. So we can make that sauce. Not chunky enough. I'm sorry. It's, it's a lot. <laughs> I did never did well on standardized tests. Oh, that was a tough one. Which one? If Johnny left at three o'clock and Jenny <laughs> left at two, when did I mean, you know? Anyway, so this is good. So I, but I, I'm trying. I'm doing my best to be able to bring in things that I love into and duplicate them at home. This is might be a little bit outside of my comfort zone completely, but at the same time, it looks gorgeous, and I would like to baby step my way into this kind of scenario. Rachel, how are we doing back there, my love? Great. She's doing well. She's I mean, having fun. I know she is having fun, and she's. I mean. Gotta get you back into the spotlight. I know, I know, I know. So super fun. Okay, so we have the avocados, we have the peppers, we have the onions, the dragon fruit, the cilantro. Yep. I'm trying, right? The seaweed. I think I did well. I think I did so well. Far, I might have so I might have yeah. missed one thing, but I think uh, that I did a pretty good job. No, I think so. I think far. I did good. Yeah. So, so fun. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mash this all up. Now when okay. you're using um, especially on the riper side of yeah. avocado, you want to make sure that you work with a good bit of citrus. So oh, um, if you're gonna let this I would suggest serving this pretty quickly and not yeah. letting it sit for too long, but if you put a little extra citrus, it should be fine. So this is about a half a cup of lime. Okay, lime, um, love yeah. that. So we're at two ripe avocados, okay. one pepper, a half a red onion, Yeah. Uh, about four cans of jackfruit or two pounds of crab meat. Okay. Um, like I said, the half cup of the lime. Yeah. Have some garlic, uh, you yep. can use fresh garlic. Um, sometimes oh, I, I like fresh, sometimes I like the, the seasoning. Yes, um, I love. And then I'm just gonna mash this up. Okay, you wanna, feel free. And yeah, I think that this is a, so everything is so beautiful, so colorful. Nice and fresh, um, nice and healthy. <coughs> Um, and then Rachel's going to segment some grapefruits, so kind of to garnish the plate, give you a little different okay. citrus. 
I love that. So tell me a little bit more about the restaurant. So again, you mentioned being able to provide an alternative, a healthy or other option to be yeah. able to, the things that you love, the hearty things that you love, but not necessarily with all the guilt. Which right, I, right, right. Which I love. Yep, we, um, we actually just won, uh, <laughs> yes. the, the second year that we won um, for uh, Best in Philly yes. for um, our Buffalo Cauliflower. Oh, congratulations. So it's like our top selling item. Yes. We do, um, it's a cauliflower that is uh, just fried and then put in, um, it's flash fried and then we, we toss it in buffalo sauce oh. or garlic sriracha or general sauce sauce. That sounds and amazing. The first award we won was called um, the best way to pretend like you're eating healthy. <laughs> and then this time they just gave us best cauliflower. Okay, right? fair, so. fair. <laughs> <laughs> but it is so. a healthy alternative, right? To a oh, fried, yeah, you know, than buffalo wings. wings with, right, yeah. for sure, you know, for sure. A lot of people say they're even better than like yes. restaurant wings. Oh, so. I love that. I love that and is that really the goal to be able to make sure that people have a way of things being truly not uh, you know full of guilt so you can get yeah, really yeah, yeah. creative have the flavors that you love but yeah. provide the alternatives absolutely oh, and that's again that. another way or another reason that we laid out the menu we the way we did with yeah. the icons because we wanted people to come in and just eat yes. <laughs> and not think about it right. you know, we have plenty of food for meat eaters you know yeah. we've got um, a great burger we have steak oh, uh, we have um, we serve breakfast brunch every day. Yeah. So we start serving at 8 a.m. every okay. day. Then around 11, we start on the, the lunch side of the menu. And that goes till, depending on the day, three or four. Yeah. And then we have a completely different kind of, a little bit more upscale of a dinner menu. So. Oh, I love. I want to have you help me out. This Put looks... some salt and pepper in here. Oh my gosh, I will. Okay. You don't mind. No problem. Where right am I going here? There. Okay. So I just dab? Yep. You want to go easy when you're using a lot of citrus too, because the initial flavor kind of, a little more. Oh. The initial flavor can, uh, come on, give us a little chef it, bam in there. Bam! <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my gosh, she's got me involved. The poor thing doesn't know what's happening. 8 a.m., there I am. Sheldon's reporting for work. And then I maybe mean, some pepper. When you, when you start at 8 a.m., that means you're in it. What time? Oh, <laughs> right. 8 a.m. a lot of times. Oh. Um, I have a great I have a great staff, so you know Rachel's our pastry chef, so oh. she helps watch our uh, Rachel. She helps watch the prep kitchen since we do a lot of prep in house. Rachel, um, you're gonna be our new fam. You're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be our friend. We're gonna be our friend. We love all things sweet, so you have to come back and tease us with yeah, a little bit of yep. that, right, my friend? A lot of the stuff we do, we have a great vegan cheesecake, which is cashew based. It is National you, Cheesecake Day somewhere. I know uh, it's gonna air a little bit later, but today is National Cheesecake. <laughs> Day. Today is, so you need to put that on your social media. Just That's so you true. know. <laughs> no pressure. I'm going to go a little heavier on this <laughs> seasoning just because there's a lot of unseasoned stuff in here. Oh, fair enough. You know how it is. So. I just didn't want to be too showy. Of course. I didn't want to be too showy, but I love a good season. Yeah. You know what I mean? And making sure that there's just nothing but flavor. And I think a lot of people have that preconceived notion as well that if it's healthy, it's going to be bland. Oh, it's yeah. It's not going to be good. Not. It's going to be, you know, no, no, you know what I mean? Not necessarily tempting to the taste buds. It's going to be something that I don't want to eat where yeah, of course you offer that's crazy yeah you're like that's crazy food, that's so you know, crazy I mean you use fresh ingredients you're gonna get fresh food right you're gonna get fresh that's food. Great. it's that simple it fresh ingredients fresh yeah. food then there's no complaints there's absolutely no complaints that's enough yeah how are the chips are looking good right I mean so great. yummy so good look how pretty that is and truly yeah, so, so far so wonderful can we see it's a quantum or should I lift it up again show me mm. just, just bring it forward, forward. <laughs> there it is. See what I do? See? Taquan tells me what to do. My buddy. <laughs> How's that look, Taquan? See? How gorgeous is that? That's yeah, great. Doesn't have, that look like a crab cake and or tuna? It's like a crab, like crab avocado yeah. salad. Avocado salad. <laughs> right? But, but it, I mean, it looks like it has all that texture when you're thinking and you're coming yeah, from. Yeah. And people, again, have those preconceived notions that when you replace one thing for the other, you're going to, it's sure. going to be much. Should we try this? this one, we have to make sure there's enough seasoning, right? Oh my gosh, we, yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that. You hit it right on the nose. Oh my God. Okay. Mm. After these messages, we'll be right back. At least a handful so, so I can make good. the plate. That's All right, really well, good. admittedly, this is probably more than you need for a dinner party. But sure. Depends how many people are coming. Exactly. It's a lot cheaper to make also than crab salad, so. That is so think good. About it. <laughs> Honestly, so like, thank I'm you. screaming. That's <laughs> really, really good. Because I was concerned about the, I didn't know about the texture or where I was going to be tasting. Like, that's so good. Rachel, you have to get in here on this one, my love. This is so yeah. super awesome. This is one of my favorites. I mean, it's so good. Let me see if you can get it. I mean. I get a little bit of everything. Right? So, Taquan, 
Honestly. We might let you taste that. I mean, please, the poor folks. That they're <laughs> out there with bated breath. They do this. Like, I torture them. I'm like, why don't you guys come with me and watch me eat? Why don't you guys do that? Why doesn't everybody come and help me eat? How do we do that? Okay. So then we'll be able to figure that out. So now what's yeah. next? Well, um, How do we make it pretty? So we're going to add some more flavors and okay. stuff. So it's important when you make a dish, you want texture, you want flavor, you want um, different colors. Obviously, you eat with your eyes. You know, first thing you yes. do is you see your plate and you eat with your eyes. So um, I've got That's a really pitaya good. pulp. So this is um, red pitaya. Okay. Um, it's just blended with, okay. I put a nice, uh, seeded jalapeno Ooh. so we took the skin off uh not the skin the um, the inner skin yeah. and the seeds okay where so we can get get rid of a lot of the um the the, the spice okay because i more want the freshness i don't really want the spice in this okay. one so i blended up a quarter of a one of those with a and that's inside there. yep it's oh. all blended and ready to go love that um this is just a cilantro and basil herb oil just to add yes. a little bit more uh herbaceousness I to it i love that and you know just go around the plate a couple times this is when they make it so pretty <laughs> and i love oh i love that and the little a little thing here. Yeah, so you need a spoon. Actually, that would work. There you go. Well, thank you. No worries. I'm here for so you. That, <laughs> Don't make me break, make a break into a sweat. Chef. Right, break a sweat over here. Try to figure it out. I handed yeah. him a spoon. My job is done. All finished. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'll send you an invoice. Okay. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, well, this is just your stage. You actually exactly. are going to have to come back. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love a it. A couple other candidates. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm not necessarily hired yet. That's exactly what he meant. But I think that it's so important to be able to provide healthy alternatives in a way that is creative, full of flavor, and just simply amazing. I'm so excited yeah. for this. <gasps> Pull this out here. Ready. I think I just want, I'm a wa woman of gadgets, and I think I just want that. <laughs> I want the, oh my God, look how beautiful. Rachel, we're not gonna leave you out. I know the chips are coming, girl. I know the <laughs> chips are coming. I'm so super excited, and I love the fact that you handle pastry, so we have to have you come back, you know, because we love all things sweet, don't we? We love all things sweet, so we're gonna have to have Rachel come back and join us. I from, love this. And, and, and gonna have uh, to bring me too. I, yeah. I'll be you your come, sous chef. You can I'll come too as chef. well, you can come too as well. No, okay, so we'll now we're not done? No, nope. so we wanna put the uh, segmented grapefruit salt Okay, I love that. So, and, just, mm -hmm. and okay. there, a couple around, you know. How wonderful. This is so pretty. Family, this is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Like, it is in a fancy center, but I, I could just eat it with, like, a chip. Yeah, that will. And then we like, have the chips. <laughs> like, just, or, like, on a sandwich, it's so good. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm so excited. Yummy. We're making beautiful things here at PJP. It's going to be yummy. This is so super good. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? Put a little bit of micro in there. Now, would this be considered an entree? No, this is an appetizer. An appetizer. Yeah. Well, it's for sharing? I'm, yeah. I don't think you that I'd be that kind. I don't think that I'd be that kind to share this. But it so, looks so good. And absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so just so everybody's clear, I'm going to lift this up. We're going to switch this out of the way so I can get a good look, if that's okay. We're going to switch this. We're going to take that. I know. True chef. He's just cleaning his station. I can't. I know. He can't even handle it. Food that way. I'm going to move this out of the way. Taquan, you're going to tell me if this is in the good space. See, there it is. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited um, to be able to share this with you. This is the perfect appetizer from one of the most amazing restaurants that we have to offer in our good old Tri-State. So why don't you share with everybody where you are from? <laughs> Again, Front Street Cafe. We're in Fishtown, um, right uh, about a block north of Girard oh, um, on Front Street, I love right that. at the corner of Thompson. I love that. Um, we have outdoor seating. We've got uh, about 130 seats outside. We yes. have an indoor bar, an outdoor bar. We have a private space I with know. its own bar. Um, we have a cafe in the front, which does all fresh juices, uh, yeah. smoothies. Oh. So uh, everything's fresh. We do lots of fresh. Oh, I love <laughs> We're fresh that. Fresh and friendly. That's oh what my we, God. Well, fresh we try to make. And friendly. Um, so if you want to follow Fan and like this fresh and friendly group of people, where would they find information online about everything you've got going? Um, we have our website is yeah. frontstreetcafe.net. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, of course, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Okay. Um, I like you. We have. Uh, 
uh, our, we're, like yeah. I said, we're op the coffee shop opens at seven every day, so I you can get that. your fresh juices and all and coffee and stuff yeah. early, and then we're open as late as uh, till two a.m. on um, Fridays and Saturdays. And you sleep when, <laughs> my friend? <laughs> I love sleep? that. What's what sleep? What, what's the chef's <laughs> sleep? <laughs> Truly, we what, have, uh, I, I love oh, it. We have the liaison room too, which we just opened, liaison which is room. that's the upstairs private space, which also is like a, a uh, we do like DJ events and stuff, so it's got How something fun. for everybody. <laughs> I love it's it. It's multifaceted, very large, tons of seating, tons of space, tons of private space. So. Oh, I love that. And you'll have to come by and try some more delicious uh, plant-based food. You won't even know it's plant-based. won't even know it's plant-based. It's just and delicious you, and it's just fresh. And I think that our community deserves that. And I think yeah, that it's yeah, really yeah. about providing a really good offering. I mean, utilizing every square foot of yes. the space, I think, yeah, absolutely. and every square <laughs> foot of your plate. I think it's so absolutely wonderful. Yeah. We follow Fan and like them. We suggest that you do the same. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us Thank on This Is so It TV. Thank you so much. It's great. How fun is Thanks this? Thanks for being my sous chef. Oh, I love it, right? <laughs> I know. I'm done. I'm done. So sous chef. I got to clock out. I'm absolutely <laughs> finished, but we are so excited. We're going to get to eating this. We'll be right back with more This Is It TV with Sheldon Barlett Rumor. Yay.